Hello people of the internet, I'm JCMX101 and today I have a different type of video where apparently to, today I realized that a new law that, well it's not a new law, but it's a law that is getting applied to YouTube where every type of video content that could possibly be considered for children has to be labeled for children. It does not matter if I'm swearing or like talking shit all the time on the video. If the video is somewhat related to kids, aka Pokemon videos, I have to label it for kids. It doesn't matter what I'm saying in the video apparently. So that is a huge problem because once the video is labeled for kids, you can no longer find it if you search for it. You can, no, you can no longer put comments on the video. Uh, there is no targeted ad. So obviously, I we're just starting, so there's no that, that doesn't really apply to me. But even, let's say, for the future, if I were to get, uh, I guess, monetized and there was going to be ads, just not a thing anymore. Um, so pretty much a terrible time to try and become a PokeTuber, I guess, or starting my channel with a Pokemon Nuzlocke. But mostly I'm doing this for fun. So the content's still gonna keep coming. The only thing is I have to label it for kids and it's a huge deal and a huge problem because the video is, becomes very difficult to find in an already difficult place to find my videos to begin with because I'm such a small channel. Or I don't even know if I'm even a channel at this point. But you're wondering, well, just don't label it for kids. Well, it turns out that this law could fine me up to $42,000 if the, per video that they find that it's not labeled for kids that could be considered for kids. And that would be fucking terrible and it would completely destroy me economically. And I cannot take the risk of this random law. Well, it's not a random law. It's, a, it's supposed to protect kids from getting advertised online. And it's kind of cool law for like protecting children, but like it's not going to do shit on YouTube. If anything, it's going to make people on YouTube try to do more mature content, which kids are still going to watch. But now it's not going to be even sort of related to kids. Now it's just going to be adult content and kids are going to watch it anyway. So it's, it's a very stupid way that they're applying this stuff. But I can't take the risk. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. So, and because I can't take this risk, everything will be labeled for children until something changes on YouTube, if anything changes. Uh, this is, once I finish the, the Nuzlocke, uh, I'm gonna probably try to change content. But the thing that's most likely gonna happen is I'll probably move to streaming either on Twitch or Mixer or whatever the fuck I decide to do. Um, and for YouTube, I'll try to only upload uh, adult games, I guess, rated T, rated teen and up. And even then, there's still a chance that I cannot label it not for kids, depending on the art style of the game. Let's say it's a super gory and violent game, but it's super colorful. Maybe anime, it would be considered for kids. And then I could get fined $42,000, which I cannot afford, by the way. So... I don't know what's gonna happen with YouTube. I'm just gonna keep uploading. Apparently you can still get revenue. It's just gonna be like super trash, but that doesn't matter. For now, everything will have to be labeled for kids. I think comments are disabled. The, you can't do a bunch of things to the video. So if you're watching this video, this video will not be labeled for kids. So maybe subscribe to the channel so you can look at whatever video comes out. I'll still be sharing them on, on, um, on Twitter. So I'll leave a link to my Twitter down below so that way you can keep up when it's uploaded because apparently, even if you're subscribed, you will not get notified that a new For Kids video has been uploaded to the channel. So it is even more important to follow me on Twitter so that way you know when the videos come out. Spoiler alert, the Pokemon Lost Like gets uploaded every morning, Monday through Sunday, every day, in the uh, California time of around anywhere from 6 in the morning to 10 in the morning is the window that I'm using right now. I pretty much upload it once I get out of work. Uh, speaking of work, uh, in my profession, uh, I don't want to say it in the internet, but stuff. I, I do have a normal job and I work graveyard shift 
and it's a company where we're about to hit peak season, meaning I'll be working my ass off almost all the time. I already had a bunch of pre-recorded videos ready to go for the Nozlog, so that way when this hit, the videos would still keep coming and we could still be having a good time. But after waking, waking up today and realizing that this law could fuck me in the ass, I changed all my videos to child content for now. Even though they're you, well, you've been seeing the videos. I, I, I swear a little bit. I try to try to kind of keep it childish, friendly in a way because I, I'm, I don't like swearing too much. But right now, I'm a little peeved, so I'm swearing a bit. Um, so that's the update for now. Uh, there are a couple things that apparently can still help out with this dilemma that's happening. The government it has offered the public to voice their opinion in their website and they will be reviewing the comments up to December 9th. So uh, this is kind of, uh, let me go. This is how the website looks like. You can go to this website. Uh, I will leave the link in the description below and you can leave your opinion on this matter and they'll review it because this, like for me, I'm like super small. I'm barely starting literally five days into YouTube and it's all going to shit already. But for other people, like a bunch of like my favorite YouTubers, for example, uh, one of my favorite Poketubers of all time, uh, Shady Penguin, his channel is pretty much going to be destroyed, completely gone because he is a family man. He does videos with the purest intentions of like you could sit with your kid and watch it and both of you have a great time. And... He pretty much can't sustain his channel if this doesn't change. His it would be destroyed. There are other a lot, tons of other channels that are uh, anything to do with animations. It was already hard to be an animator on YouTube. Now it's just, you're completely fucked because if it's animated, even if it's like a gory animation, apparently it's considered for children, and you have to be marked for child uh, as child content. And if you're Mark this child content, like I said, it fucks you over. It gets rid of comments, ads, your revenue gets lost like 90%. So fucking terrible. So like, let's say uh, a YouTuber spends like six hours making like a short animated video. They post it on YouTube because it has to be marked as child friendly because they don't want to get fined $42,000. You end up making like $10 for like six hours of work. Like... That's fucking garbage, you know? I, I obviously make like zero money because we're just starting, but like I am just feel terrible for other channels. And I don't know what to do except like like I said, I'm going to leave the description to this website. There's also a thing going on on like change.org where you can voice your opinion to try and change this because the internet is a wild place. And this, I believe, was normally uh, when it originally came out, it was to protect kids from being advertised on TV. But it's applying to YouTube now, which kind of makes sense. I guess they're trying to protect kids. But like I said, it ain't going to do shit. If anything, it's going to make it worse for kids because now the YouTubers are going to have to do mature content if they want to keep afloat on YouTube, which, like I said, mature content is not something that kids should be watching. So either way, moving to towards more of like my channel, like I said, Twitter down below follow that's the only way you're going to get notified of videos apparently because i have to mark everything for children i cannot take the risk of five days into youtube getting fucked with this enormous fine because of the law maybe someday in the future we'll be able to uh change back to uh suit it for everyone or because people were saying oh well you could just mark the videos not for children you know and put like a age barrier on it well that doesn't matter because it's not youtube that's checking the videos is the uh i think it's fta or something like that uh i don't know the exact uh i can't pronounce the exact name uh but pretty much they're the ones that are going to be manually checking the over 200 million videos or something that are on YouTube. That's what they said. They said they have the tools and they will manu manually check all the videos starting on January 1st, 2020. And I cannot fucking take the risk of getting fucked in the ass with this giant ass fee. So we're gonna mark everything for children and keep it safe. I don't give a fuck. The best way to support the channel, subscribe. And then in the future, we'll move to other Let's Plays and challenging games that are 
more uh, for adults or teens. Uh, I might even move, like I said, to streaming the Pokemon games because I my idea for the channel was that I was going to do uh, like teen content and stuff. But at the same time, I was going to do the special Poor Man Run Nuzlocke and other Pokemon game versions when we were done with Sword with Pokemon Sword. But clearly, that's probably not going to be an option because what's the point of uploading a video if no one's going to see it, right? Like... I mean, right now we get like 10 views in a video, but that doesn't matter. It was like, it's for the future. I'm mostly doing this shit for fun. Like I said, I have a job and I'm working my own, my own thing. Uh, besides the point, uh, it just kind of sucks that I chose like the worst possible moment to try and go into YouTube again. Uh, and I say again because a long time ago I was doing like thinking league videos. They weren't very good, but like I said, it's just fun for me to do videos. Um, and since I recently got like a better computer and stuff i decided to try and do it with this new pokemon game because i fucking love pokemon it's one of my favorite franchises of all time um but besides the point uh like i said i'll leave um there's this guy that posted a video explaining this shit a lot a lot better than what i just did and if you want to stay uploaded maybe tell your other youtuber people who are thinking that this is not going to be a serious problem to go watch that video Share the information with as much people as you can because starting January 1st, 2020, a lot of people's lives could go to shit because of the law. So just uh, maybe sign the petition on change.org to maybe try to change the law, which I doubt will happen. But hey, we got to do what we can. Uh, like I said, I'll leave also the link to this website. This is the government's website where they are listening to public opinion before December 9th they will read over the comments and then think about what they can do to change what's going on. So, <clears throat> a link to that. So there will be like four links in the description. My Twitter, the video that explains the problems way better than what I'm doing right now, the change.org link, and the uh, link to the government website where you can voice your opinion to try and change their mind before December 9th. So, Please, if you're watching at all, share the video with people. Let them know what's going on. Or if you don't want to share my video, like I said, share the video that's way better than mine that explains this shit a lot better. Um, I think that's going to be it for me. I'm uh, very nervous, very concerned. But like I said, the biggest change for this, this is doing, if you got to take anything out of the video, is follow me on Twitter so you can get notifications. And that my entire channel for now is going to be uh, targeted to kids, I guess, because I don't want to get fined $42,000. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys did watch this video. Uh, and I hope, and I'll con see you tomorrow with the next part of the Nuzlocke, if you see the video at all. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens, but thanks for uh, taking time to watch this video. Bye.